Hello and welcome back to my channel Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. I have been together with my wife for almost 10 years. We got married 5 years ago and we have been through a lot together. I thought we were happy but I caught her with her boss and I'm not sure how to move on. It's time we listen to the story. Also, if you like what I do, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. We met in college, I took extra classes to catch up, so we could graduate together, and we did in 2012. Soon after graduating, I saved some money to study a game design program in Canada, and I invited her to come with me. The easiest way for Canada to let her in was for us to marry, so I proposed and we got married three months after, almost a couple weeks before starting our new life in Canada. Everything was magical and great for a while since everything was new for us. Slowly, studying started to take over more and more of my time since the school I enrolled into was very intensive and demanding. I was willing to put all of my time and energy into it since the successful completion of the program would determine my chances of landing a job in the industry. This, of course, made her feel lonely and cast aside. This was one of the first challenges we faced together and they only kept getting tougher and more complicated. This, in a way, tempered us and taught us to communicate better as a couple. It forced us to state our long-term goals as individuals and it made our differences very clear to work on. So, we did. OP eventually got the job he worked so hard for and things slowly improved. The relationship went through some ups and downs but never getting completely unendurable just until last year. It was clear that some of our differences as a couple were getting easier to agree upon, but there were some fundamental differences that were always present. So, I decided to tolerate until I found myself resenting the amount of emotional work I was subjecting myself in order to have just a single weekend of not arguing. This eventually made me feel like I was married to a little sister trying to tiptoe among eggshells in order to avoid an argument. My physical desire was completely non-existent and I was desperately trying to figure out why. This is where the snowball first started rolling down the hill. I couldn't stop looking at her like she was asking for too much out of me, and I could feel myself falling in a vicious cycle turning me away from what I had fought for so long. I just grew more and more resentful towards my decisions. Eventually, I felt completely out of touch, and I started just cruising with only my work and my hobbies to carry me through the routine. She communicated how alone she felt and, with whatever energy I had left, I tried to tell her how maybe this was all temporary and that this cycle was particularly dark, but we would eventually rise together and feel better again. Last week, it all felt like diving into ice-cold water when OP found a text message from her boss flashing on the computer. It was late and she had told me that she went dancing with her friends, so this was a red flag and I couldn't help myself but click on it and open the conversation. I read so many things I wish I didn't. I could feel my heart sinking and pumping faster and faster as I scrolled down the whole conversation and eventually I found a message from him confirming physical contact. Just playing it back in my head makes me nauseous. I wish I knew things were that bad before. After that night, I had a day to myself to think and I confronted her after. She confessed everything. Tears were rolling down her face while doing so and I was just stunned. I couldn't show any emotions at that moment. I was very scared and disappointed. I took it all in and gave her two choices. We could end everything right there and then and sort our stuff so we could move away. Or we could put the relationship on standby and keep living together while we figure out what to do with the condition that she would have to give her two weeks notice and quit her job. She decided to try the latter. It's been a week and change. This definitely woke us out of our comfort zones, and things started getting off better for each of us. Seeing her as something I could lose made me want to fight for something that I took for granted, and my physical desire suddenly returned. I missed looking at her like that, but what happened is completely wrong and conflicting. They have been through so much, and they have decided to fight for this for so long. I'm convinced that what we used to have was somewhat rare, and I'm willing to fight for it. But fear is always present now, and I'm constantly debating whether I'm making the right decisions or not. I feel like just throwing all away is childish, especially now that things have been slowly improving. 
I told her I can't truly pardon her, but I understand why she felt the way she did. What happened is just a symptom of the state of the relationship, and I will admit that it could have been me in her position. Now, here is the update. Back then, shortly after everything happened, I took a vacation week and went back to see my parents and sisters. I told them about the situation and, naturally, they were all disappointed. Fortunately, though, they were very adamant of respecting any decision I considered. After debating it a lot, I concluded that the least we could do was try to grow out of the circumstances as a couple and see how we felt about it. Shortly after my time away, we had to move out of our apartment to a new one for unrelated reasons. Packing up was just a painful experience. Should we put our things on separate boxes? Or are we going to be practical about it for now and figure out what happens later? We moved into the new apartment and the relationship seemingly froze in time for a couple months. There were unpacked boxes sitting idle, framed posters that were never hanged. It was impossible to set up our new apartment without knowing exactly if this was going to be our place or not. It was interesting how our environment accurately mirrored how we felt inside. For me, personally, it was helping me get through the days, just not having to worry about moving forward in that regard. By then, I was very emotionally tired, and I took that chance to pretend like everything was stable for a while. Eventually, they had to move on, and out of the limbo they made. OP's determination to make things better for them was quickly challenged whenever he saw themselves as a new marriage. What I originally thought only as leftover anger that would eventually go away only solidified and took shape into what could be described as issues within me. For example, she would go out with a female friend of hers, everything was normal, until I sent a message to check in with her, and after just 20 minutes of waiting, those negative feelings would grow into a lot of anxiety, anger, and desperation. As much as I wanted, I couldn't do anything else. This state replaced every thought in my mind. This experience was so strongly negative, I only had to live it twice before deciding for good that this plan was not going to work. I sat down and explained this, and took steps to break down everything she could do to regain my trust. I was expecting her to message me whenever she arrived or left work, and if she had any plans for the night. The other condition was just to pay attention to her cell phone for calls or messages, since she had a bad habit of forgetting about it for hours at a time. She wasn't thrilled about this, even after I made it clear it was only temporary and that she needed to regain my trust. But if she could not do this for me, I felt we were both not trying equitably. Sadly, but for the best, they took the decision to end the relationship. She started looking for apartments to move to shortly after. She eventually confessed that she was still in contact with her old boss. I feel we took the right decision. Last night, she took the last of her things and moved out. We're in good terms. I can't see a friendship between us right now, obviously, but I hope we can reach that point sometime in the future. She gave me her apartment keys, and that was it. I truly wish her the best. I hope she can find the happiness she's looking for. My plan now is to try to have some fun and enjoy my solitude. Well, OP, your reconciliation attempts were doomed from the start. She couldn't even do the basic thing that she needed to do in order to regain your trust by cutting the AP out of her life. To me, this says she was never that serious about reconciliation. She most likely only did it out of guilt, but there obviously wasn't enough guilt to completely cut him out and fight for what she had lost. That's really sad because what she did was waste another seven months of your time that you could have spent healing if she had just been honest. You fought a good fight. It takes two to make reconciliation work. Unfortunately, her heart was never really in it. To be honest, I wouldn't even worry about trying to be friends with her in the future. You're much better off without her in your life in any capacity. Besides, in six months or so, when the affair fog wears off and he cheats on her too, she will come crawling back wanting to try and reconcile. You'd be a fool to take her back because you're the stable plan B until she finds another reason to cheat on you. If you were really her plan A, she would have cut contacts with the AP and busted her bottom to get you back. You are better off without her in your life. Enjoy your newfound freedom. You deserve it. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.